Hi, social media managers. If you are here because you want to know how to create a monthly analytic report, congrats! Because another day, another learning for you. Monthly analytic report is very important for us social media managers because it is where we put all of the growth that we did on our client's account. And here's one thing that I want you to remember in creating monthly analytic report. Always screenshot the account of your client right after you open or access their account. It's great that all of the details such as the analytics, the bio, the profile, the views, like everything and put it on your Google Drive or create a folder of that client, put it in a Google Drive or you can actually put it on your Notion if you have Notion because I am using my Notion to put everything in there since I have client dashboard and specific client that I am handling, I am actually putting all of the analytics that I have for a client on that specific page. Being organized as a social media manager is very important so that you have all of those screenshots in one place so you won't forget it when you are creating monthly analytic report. And right now, I'm going to show you on how we will create a monthly analytic report for the travel account that we rebranded one month ago yes so since it's already one month and as a social media manager it is our responsibility to create monthly analytic report our client that we handle after a month right now i am going to walk you through on how to create a monthly analytic report after one month of growing that account and by the way if you are not aware that we also created a content calendar we created the content ideas, we planned that content ideas, we also analyze the content using that account. That's why if you are a social media manager that don't know those process, feel free to go back and watch those videos first before coming here. And are you ready? Make sure to grab a paper and pen to take some notes. Let's go. I have here the May 12, which is the first day of the account since we rebranded the account. So here, this is the May 12, that's why if I'm gonna create a monthly content calendar about that, I will download this photo and then we will also download a one month worth of analytics. Download this photo and download every photo that you have in here because you will use it in analyzing and reporting the monthly analytic report and in creating monthly analytic report make sure all of the data are being screenshot so you can use that on how you will explain everything to your client because let's be honest that all of our clients don't know how to read analytics that's why we are creating monthly analytic report for them to easily understand all of these numbers because we are the one who can understand these numbers truly with strategy and since we already downloaded all of those photos i have here the template that i'm using to easily create analytic report like plug and play we will just gonna change the photos description and branding and if you want to grab a copy of this template i will link it below so first of course let's change the name if the name is let's say shara travel account and a month which is right now is june also if you have a photo of your client feel free to put it here to change the branding or if you want a specific font change the font feel free to do that but for the sake of this video this photo and this font is as is and of course the insights overview again this is plug and play since we already downloaded all of the photos, we will just put everything in here easily. So it's very easy for us to manage and put all of those details. So this is the after and this is the before. You just have to familiarize yourself with all of those data because sometimes it's very tricky and confusing but since you're the one who is screenshot it it's very easy for you to use it okay and crop to show the difference of the before and after there so as you can see before we only have twenty eight thousand, and after we gain five hundred thousand views it's a one month result or growth of that account and of course since we have here the insights feel free to change it about the insights of what happened to this before and after so your client will understand all of those numbers and then next 
of course very important part where the client wants to see as well so let's pull out the views the interaction and the followers yes i'm already familiar of what it looks like that's why it's easy for me to find the photo and replace this so this is the interaction but if you guys are doing this for like a year or two years you will also experience the same thing like it's very easy for you to create monthly analytic report but it's okay and it is normal if you are not used to create because all experts were once beginners that's why don't pressure yourself take a lot of time okay there you go and same thing for this insight we will also include our insight when it comes to views when it comes to interaction and when it comes to followers so in the followers here as you can see we only gain overall 90 followers because 44 people unfollowed us so if i'm a social media manager i'm going to explain why people unfollowed us for the first month because it's actually a lot of people who unfollowed us that's why I want to explain it to client why people unfollowed us. So since we rebranded the account, it's very normal for people to unfollow us because they are being so dramatic to not see all of our contents. Because of course, it is a personal account, then we rebrand it to a travel account. Like for example, I am not used to upload content like 10 times a month before. But since I rebranded the account to a travel account, I uploaded 18 content per month right now. So like my followers are Shara again, something like that so they are being so cringe about what i'm doing but i really don't care it is not my goal to please them that's why i am just focused on my social media goals so if they unfollow me that's good because they are not the right audience for me but if they are keep supporting me keep following me i am glad and i am happy to be with you guys something like that and of course next is the account overview yes but for this account, travel account, account overview, or the profile activity specifically is not relevant. Why? It is because I don't have website link. But if I do have, and my goal is to make people click my website, I will put it here. But if it is not my goal, I will not include it. That's why I will erase it. Again, this monthly analytic report that we are creating is a case-to-case -case basis based on the client's social media goals. That's why if you're going to create a monthly analytic report, always remember the social media goals of the client and explain it to your monthly analytic report. Here is the top performing content. Go ahead and screenshot the top performing and explain why it is a top performing, what content pillar we use, and how it works. But since I did not screenshot the top performing content of the travel account that we are creating monthly analytic report because of course it is my account. But if you guys want to explain this to your client, it is just a screenshot the views part and then the insights of that content and just explain why it is a top performing content because of course you will know why it is a top performing content because you're the one who created the strategy you're the one who's editing it but if it is not just put your judgment as a social media manager it is a top performing content because people or your audience like this kind of content because it resonates to them more likely something like that you just have to show to them how you understand their branding how you understand their audience and of course if we have the top performing content we will also provide how to double down the top performing like this is your content pillar that's why we need to publish more content pillar for the next month about this content pillar and we also have the low performing content so, of course, last week we discussed what are the top four performing content and the low performing content. You just have to put everything here and explain it to your client. Just like the top performing content, you will also put your insight. Why do you think it is a low performing content? What content pillar did you use? And also, what content format? How many seconds this reel? 
compare to the top performing content. You just need to compare both of them, why it is low and why it is top. And next is, so this part is actually an optional part. It is not mandatory. But if you have something that you want to report to your client and you are proud of it, feel free to put everything in here. But based on what the account that we are currently creating content for, we actually have some proud moments. And I already screenshot it and put it here on our first week of rebranding the content. The first day, we rebranded the account May 12. But on May 17, I actually did create another analytic or some screenshot. But on the first week of rebranding this account, I screenshot some results that we receive. So I will download everything in here and say... After five days, we received this much views and also this much followers that people are starting follow us from our reel, which is a win because we are not totally engaging using this account, but we have increased our followers because we created a reel that will make people to follow us. And it is a win actually. And to also explain to our client that we received 100,000 views after 5 days of rebranding the account. And that's actually a win. And another win for me for this account is we receive inquiries about the booking. And you know guys, inquiries for a travel account is very important. Why? Because people will likely to collaborate with you if you are creating content that will increase their inquiries sales and also boost their awareness that's why we have to download this and put everything on this page to let our client know even in one month when we handle your account we are able to achieve this much growth so you just need to put everything in here about this we are able to close a deal with those accommodation which is really the goal of the hound we receive a follow from the real created in just one week also add another page if it is not enough for one page to explain all of the wins and we receive a lot of inquiries about the tour guide that we use for that travel it's actually very important to a travel account to receive a lot of inquiries about a specific travel you cannot say maybe one day we are being invited for a travel that is free because they want to collaborate with us. And of course, we receive 100,000 views in one week of handling the account. And there you go. Of course, you just need to align or like design this perfectly the way you want it. But since for the sake of this content, we'll just put it there and add some captions to explain everything i will not totally add some caption here because this video will take a lot of time because i am not perfectly good at grammar <laughs> i need to use chat gpt for this and i am not ashamed to admit that there you just need to explain what happened here so the client will not guess what are you trying to say for this photo something like that and there you go something to improve for the next month so the client know what they will expect for the next month from you as a social media manager and what are your next step for the next month as well also next focus for growth for the next month based on the result that we receive from this current month that we are creating monthly analytic for and the strategy as well that we will do if you have some suggestion like for example we will need to change the content pillar for next month because we have seen a low performing content or views from the content pillar travel diaries let's say that's why i am proposing travel adventure for the next month because that's what working so well to your account based on the analytic that we have seen and 
the thank you page. It's very easy with editable template, but of course, in creating monthly analytic report, you always have to remember that you need to explain everything to your client so your client will understand what's the current status of the account and how we will improve it for the next month. That's why as much as possible, if you have a wins for that specific month, highlight it. If you have a specific strategies that you want to change on this month for the next month, Put it there and everything that you will do on the account so the client will know what to expect to you for the next month so they can decide if they want to hire you for the next month as well. And you know what's the best thing in creating monthly analytic report after one month is you can definitely create a case study to post it on your social media as a social media manager because case study is always the thing here in social media management and that's also one of the non-negotiable of our potential clients because they are always seeking of our case study. And using our monthly analytic report, we can definitely create a case study to post on our social media and also a case study to put in our portfolio. Just click this video right here to watch how we turn this monthly analytic report that we created to a case study to post in our social media and also to put in your portfolio and I will see you there.